Alright, my lovelies, I'm right here, and today we're going to have a look at Mont Blanc Irish Green. I think it's a pretty interesting ink. It comes in these lovely little boxes. I absolutely love them. Um, in fact, it's a two part box. You take out the bottle, and you got this left. Lovely. Here's the actual bottle, which is really cool because it has this sort of reservoir in there. So once the ink starts to run a little low, you can make sure there's some ink right there dip your nib in, and that's pretty much it. It's a green ink. It's named after Ireland. That's all there is to it. So I suppose what we're going to do now is run all the tests you've come to know and love, and uh, that's all. I, uh, I think I'll see you later. Bye. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what we've got here today is uh, Mont Blanc Ireland Green Let's start with a fine nib Oh Danny boy Oh Danny boy Then medium Oh, Danny boy. I was missing a bit there. Did you see it? Oh, Danny boy. Let me get us some broad nibbage into the mix. Oh, Danny boy. Oh. Oh, oh, Danny boy. And then an italic. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, yeah! That was the remix. Then, maybe, we can have a bit of flax. Danny boy Oh Danny boy oh boy oh boy Alright And we got us a couple of passes one two three and while we're at it we may as well do a big letter E for air. Had a bit of normal writing. The nibs. The nibs are calling. And then there's, I know there's a moment you've all been waiting for. It's the Tardif test. That's a lot of benchmark. I just cap that before we get Irish green all over the place. Oh look, it's oh, 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 it's already happening. Just have to clean the bottle in my desk there. And I'm back. Apparently these bottles are not made in such a manner you can just dip your finger in. Alright, alright, sorry. My desk is under control again. Alright, so I think we should have a second pass. As you can see, this ink dries fairly quickly. 
second, second. All right. That dry. Let's have a look at that bastard brush. a bit there. And then have a look. The eyedropper of death. Alright. Just going to leave that on there for a sec. Take it off. And to write the scorecard. So what have we got? Cleaning. I've done it a couple of times now. It's fairly easy. Give it a one. Lay through. Lay through is something we've got to evaluate later. Color. Oh, I'd say dark green, eh? Shading. Well, that's not too shabby. You see a nice bit of shading right there. And if we're going to do that third pass, may as well, we're here now. You can see how that too goes from a fairly light green to a much darker color. It's almost black. I like that. I like that in all these pens. Even in the fine nib, you actually see a bit of shading. I would say shading is pretty impressive. Shading. A two. One is Apache Sunset. That's a defining factor. I think this would be more than adequate. Flow. Very good. No problems there. Feathering. Have to evaluate that later. Drying time. Drying time. Pretty good. I'm going to give that full marks. Waterproofness. Well, well. What do you make of that? The nibs are calling, well, a little, but the nibs themselves are gone. Here, a lot of it is gone too. Not terrible. It's not great either. Mid's core. We need another type of paper. Just so happen to have that lying around. Fine. I'm a leprechaun and I'm okay. Guard me gold. Pretty much all day. I sit on the rainbows. If you grab me, then I shall sue. You. How about a bit more of that? Six millimeters stuff.
You know, I don't think it's too bad, although there's a couple of issues. First, look at that. That's a lot of feathering you got right there. This is a ruined finger, by the way, but that's a different matter. With a 6mm nib around the really wet spots, there's quite a bit of feathering too, but it's this really flexy writing that gets to us. Quite a lot of bleed through. Right there, broad, see a bit in medium, metallic, quite some in flex, but even in that broad, so it's not terrible bleed through, but it's not perfect either. The Rodia bleed through is where you would expect it, three passes, round benchmark, tire lift test. All of that shows us a nicely, nicely shading ink. So, what have we got? I once knew a guy called Seamus Shading, by the way. That's a story for another time. What have we got here? Lead through. Well, it's not terrible. It's not great either. Feathering. It's not terrible. It's not great either. Uh, although it's mainly, well, it's mainly flex nibs on poor paper. But you know, the broad nib, regular broad nib, was feathering too. So, um, if you didn't really see that, it's there. See. You got feathering. So I think we're safe to say it's a very nice ink. You've got to be a little bit careful what type of paper you use it on. So what have we got there? One, three, five, six, eight, nine, eleven. Inkage core of eleven. Now a couple of things we have to do left. Where's my flex pen? Come here. There you are. Irish green, huh? Then there is another ink which is a bit like it. Maybe a little bit lighter. Sherban. The Air Sauvage. Whatever you pronounce that. A little exclamation mark going there too. Nice ink, behaves well. Maybe a little lighter. If you want something that's as dark or maybe even darker than this, try Private Reserve Avocado. That should definitely not let you down. Alright. Mont Blanc Ireland Green. I hope this was useful. And if you ask politely, I may be back one day. Cheers. Oh dear. What's happening now? Ah, uh, there we go. Brown benchmark. Why isn't the bastard writing? Here we go. And while we're at it, I think we're going to have a big letter there. Alpha Leprechaun. And here. You've got a lucky clover. Alright, so how have we been doing? Let's have a look. Lots of feathering there. 
Uh, that's a little excessive. Lots and lots of feathering there. Quite some feathering there. What about lead through? Lead through is quite significant. It's there for the broad, for the italic. Well, this is clearly a bit much. For the flex, it's there for the lucky clover. Now, when your clover bleeds through, you know you've got a problem, eh? Medium, just a little bit of bleed through right there, right there, right there. Fine, it's the only one that seems to be okay. So apparently, when you're using this ink, you've got to be very careful and peculiar about your paper. There is no bleed through in the rhodia apart from these excessive spots. The regular writing there isn't. I think it's quite pronounced. and give it a two. Feathering, that was very pronounced. I'll give that a two. Inkage score, one, three, five, six, eight, nine, eleven. Now, the last thing we have to do get a bit of a comparison going here. So here we've got that MB Irish Green And I just happen to know that there is an ink that's not bad at all. The Air Salvage, whatever you pronounce that. Maybe that's a little bit lighter. If you want something that is very, very dark, go for Private Reserve Avocado. And, uh, I think that's all I've got to say here today. So I hope this was useful. Mont Blanc, Irish Green. Visit Ireland. It's a beautiful country. I'll see you later.